one, good afternoon, good evening. Whichever time that you are viewing this from any part of the world, I welcome, I welcome you all to this YouTube channel. And today we'll be discussing spanning tree protocol on microchip devices. Spanning tree protocol is used to maintain redundancy and a loop free layer 2 topology. In other words, if you have layer 2 set up and you interconnect your devices, I want to maintain redundancy and also to ensure that there is no loop in your network. And spanning tree protocol is the way to go. So, microtech, it is applicable. And also, the advanced feature, which is rapid spanning tree protocol, is also available on microtech. The difference in between rapid and the spanning tree protocol is just that it's the convergence time. RSTP converges faster than uh, STP. And also, the states of the ports. In STP, you have five states. You have the learning state, the forwarding state, the blocking state, the inactive state, the learning and low. But this uh, particular video is not for the deep dive. just want to show you how you can configure it and then you get it working. Right for the rapid, the only three states, the learning, the forwarding, and I think the blocking state. No, I'm not. The only three states in the rapid and five states in STP. So how do you do this configuration? You can see our topology, switch one, has a device connected to it. Let's say this is a server, Y switch two has a client connected to it. In other words, switch one will be our, let's call it our core switch, and this will be our root bridge. But that is one of the, um, the first thing that you need to choose when you are designing this layer two. You choose your root bridge, and you have to configure the value manually. There are different values configured in microtech devices for this um, technology. But if you maintain those um, default values, it might not work. It might not achieve the purpose which you intended for it. So it's better to manually configure those default values. And one of the default values to configure is the bridge priority. So the lowest priority configured, manually configured, will serve as a root bridge. So this is our switch map. We are going to configure the value manually, and it's in hexadecimal. So the lowest value will be your root bridge. Although there is also a call root port. If you look at um, switch two, it has a uh, it has three connected to switch one. For it, switch three, it has it has two connected to it. So these are the root ports by which um, traffic will be forwarded from switch four down to switch two and down to switch three. So if I disable this. Switch 4 should still communicate with switch 1. But if the two root ports have been disabled, then you need to find another means by which switch 4 will com communicate with switch 1. But that's also the focus that there should be redundancy. Once a path fails, the other one should pick up. And once um, the path that failed um, is very restored, then you consider the normal function. So let's go ahead and start our configuration, particularly from switch. Man. So we're doing most of our configuration by the CLI. Okay, it is still booting. I just come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me do it again. Wow. And I'm running an event G. I'm running I'm using the event G. Um, the version 6 is still the same across version to design this technology. Come up now. Let me power it down. Power it up again. Okay. 
for this hour switch map and for the going via Stella. Let us resolve. I need to specify its identity. And I need to create the bridge because we are building a explanatory protocol on the bridge feature of a macrosic and the name of the bridge and the priority. Let me give it to one zero zero. So if we check the default values, you can see that the protocol mode is on rapid explanatory protocol. So at this stage, I don't need to change it. I can change it to STP, but like we said earlier, the convergence will be very, very slow. But since we um, everything is about speed in the talking of today, so we can leave the value to be on RSTP. The next is to add ports in the created bridge. And I'm adding port 2, 3, and 4. And on port 2, 3, and 4, I'm going to add um, the port priority. But on port 4, I will not add the port priority. That is what we call this one as an edge port. And which we do not. And its priority, let me give it this one. I put it at three. Let me give it this one. So let me verify what I created. So I've created it actually that three and four. Created the priority values at cost. So the and true bit the conversion on the root bridge. So I go on to switch two. My bridge. The priority. The hard reports. So switch three. Similar conversion that was done on switch two as well. Only with the change in the priority value of the bridge. The ports. As it's a as well as it's a three. Now go to switch four. On this switch, I need to specify path cost. That is, which will be the primary. The lowest will be the primary, while the highest will be the secondary. So, because uh, oh, I need to priority. 
fix me for this. I need to add first. Add bridge map interface. I should be taxed. Oh, we call sign. The path cost. Let me make this five to be the primary. Then for enter three. Let's make it ten. Why for it are four? No need. It's, it's no need of a grind and additional values and edge ports. No need of additional values and give everything on the edge ports as default. Now we have um, set our STP. We can confirm which one is it from switch one and we can confirm if it is. So only one be that we create also the nine should be zero. So if you look at um, this value which bridge it is being set as yes because it, it has the lowest uh, priority value. Let's check for the remaining. Zero. Which bridge no. So others we must only one which bridge. So the next thing to now ensure that uh, we are what we have done. Is going to need to create that just based on manageable um, IP address that I can use to monitor connectivity. So I would like to do that by creating the VLAN first. Let's call it VLAN 101. VLAN ID. Let's make it 101. Then interface. Let's make it to be. Now, this will be the same on all our devices. Okay. One zero one. ID. One zero one. An interface. Here are Same thing everywhere. Okay, but I want to the name. And I do the one and I interface. Let's also give this the manager by the addresses. The address and address. Let me give this one as well as it's a good job. Which interface? Make it on each map. It's as well be nice with the one six hundred and three seven four interface. And I two one six eight ten button. Now with this uh, many device addresses that we have configured, we can easily confirm the redundancy and the connectivity. So from switch 4, even though I will not configure any IP on the connected devices, I can still monitor it. So if, let me confirm if I can ping um, Yes, we can see that switch 1 is reachable from switch 4. So if I go to um, 
switch two, switch two, and switch three. So on switch two and switch three, let me confirm. On switch two, I will disable port three, and this switch two. Let me disable port three, and let's confirm what will happen. Port 3 is a um, number 2, line 2. Still go to yeah, I can still reach it. So let me go to switch 3. On switch 3. Trace. And then. So now on switch 3. Let me disable guitar 2, which is line 1. Disable. Disable. One. Yeah, we can start. Uh, there is time out now because the ports connecting to the root bridge. So even though uh, this client with this, this client will not reach the server at all. If we configure IP, on it, we do go to the R3 conversion. So let me enable any of the two and confirm if there will be reachability you see immediately as we uh, our STP was designed using just STP and without a rapid this convergence will be too slow for it to come up then we enable this back as well you can see that this is disabled where it is working Enabled two. So the two ports are off. Okay, let me the two ports are off. If I disable the two, they have no reachability. But if I disable any of the two, they have reachability. You can see that this is a and there is no loop in my topology and there is redundancy. So if you are going to design a layer two technology, or layer, sorry, the two topology. Do employ the use of a rapid spanetry protocol to achieve redundancy in your network. So you can contact us for trainings, for projects, for support as well. We are available at your service. You can also assist to like, subscribe, and share the video so that um, our views can also grow and can reach more. And also have more that we can populate the world with um, network engineers, particularly with the use of uh, microtech devices. So I thank everyone that has taken time to watch this video. Please learn more, practice more. If you have any questions, you can send to us through our comment section. You can reach out to us through our phone numbers.